President Trump nominated Judge Brett Kavanaugh Monday night to replace Justice Kennedy who is retiring from the Supreme Court. He was chosen from a list of 25 candidates provided by the Federalist Society and the Heritage Foundation. He has a long history as a judge and by most accounts he seems to be a fantastic pick for the high court. Before Kavanaugh was even nominated, the left was in full-blown attack mode and started accusing him of all sorts of things that weren't true. Just yesterday, the Washington Post accused Kavanaugh of running up tons of credit card debt, debt that they forgot to mention he paid off himself. It is a non-story and an attempt to smear a good man. Shame on them. Interest groups and grassroots organizations from the left intend to make Kavanaugh's confirmation a bloody fight, but that in itself probably won't work. Virtually all but possibly one Republican support Kavanaugh and that one vote will almost assuredly come around. There are also three to five Democrats who have indicated they will vote to confirm Kavanaugh, so his confirmation is all but done here. But the Democrats are still vowing a massive resistance effort against him. The rhetoric over Kavanaugh has been ridiculously ratcheted up. The nomination of Judge Brett Kavanaugh will threaten the lives of millions of Americans for decades to come and will morph our Supreme Court into a political arm of the right-wing Republican Party, stated Terry McAuliffe. Well, Kavanaugh's confirmation will swing the court to the right for many years, that is true. But threaten the lives of millions of Americans? How exactly? If he's referring to abortion, Kavanaugh may, in fact, save lives. We'll be damned if we're going to let five men, including some frat boy named Brett, strip us of our hard-won bodily autonomy and reproductive rights. Hash stop Kavanaugh hash save Roe. Not all. That's petty and insulting as usual. I'm not surprised by their viciousness here. Constitutionally, Kavanaugh will uphold the law. By the way, what about the rights of the babies that Narl supports murdering? In my book, your right to have Essex does not outweigh a child's right to life. Kavanaugh has spent the last two days meeting with senior lawmakers on Capitol Hill, ahead of his confirmation hearings. In the coming weeks, he will meet with dozens of senators. His accolades just keep rolling in. He's well-liked and very respected. But perhaps the biggest tell on this man's character is what he did when no one was watching. Well, almost no one. Bonus, Schumer is going to hate this. From the Daily Caller, a passerby spotted the new Supreme Court nominee on her way home from work Wednesday night, and sent these pictures to the Daily Caller News Foundation. Kavanaugh was serving meals to the homeless outside Catholic Charities in downtown Washington, less than 48 hours after he was tapped to succeed Justice Anthony Kennedy, according to his D.C. Circuit biography. The judge is a volunteer with the Street, Maria's Meals program, which serves hot dinners to the Capitol's poor. During his acceptance remarks on Monday night, the judge mentioned that his Jesuit high school education taught him to be a man for others. A fellow volunteer confirmed that the judge signed up for the event some time ago and chose to keep the date, developments in his professional life notwithstanding. Really classy move, Your Honor. I certainly agree. That is the mark of a very caring man and one of deep conviction. What some Mac? Kavanaugh asked, as he scooped it into paper to go boxes to accompany barbecue sandwiches, watermelon and chips for those in need. That warms my heart. It really does. Kavanaugh was greeted by Monsignor John Insler, the president and CEO of Catholic Charities in Washington who has known the judge from the time he was an altar boy. He's a man for others. Insler said, it's all about service. Indeed, and soon Kavanaugh will serve the whole nation on the highest court in the land. I think that is fitting. Kavanaugh is not an overly wealthy man and if confirmed will be the justice with the most modest means on the bench. He's humble as well, but he is a strong constitutional proponent. He clerked under Kennedy, but he is far more to the right of him. He is known for being the first to arrive and the last to leave. His work ethic is unassailable. Kavanaugh is a judge's judge, a constitutional originalist and he's a man of faith. No wonder the left doesn't like him. Kavanaugh said if he is chosen to be on the Supreme Court, he would keep an open mind in every case and always strive to preserve the Constitution of the United States and the American rule of law. That sentence right there was enough to cause the left to go into a righteous meltdown out of fear for Roe vs. Wade on abortion.
as well as illegal immigration. Kavanaugh is incredibly strong on the Second Amendment. The NRA is very pleased with the choice. The National Right to Life Committee tweeted a note of thanks to Trump after the nominee was announced to in the Susan B. Anthony List, a nonprofit group that seeks to end abortion by supporting pro life candidates, described Kavanaugh as an outstanding choice. I concur with them and I think that Kavanaugh will be an excellent addition to SCOTUS.